there's a really interesting taboo around customer journey mapping which I always knew was there but it became even more apparent uh, during my three-day stay in Stuttgart where I coached uh, a three-day journey mapping workshop and the taboo is and I'm really curious if you recognize this the taboo is that customer journey maps are a great way for teams to get budget and set priorities now why is this a taboo I see a lot of talk regarding customer journey mapping about why it's good for customers why customer centricity is important like um, I would almost argue all the soft factors but as soon as you start arguing for the fact that customer journey mapping or a customer journey map can help you to seize the internal budget or prioritize uh, initiatives that you want to employ it feels people like don't talk about that and I think that's a shame because for a lot of teams customer journey mapping customer journey maps would be great for that so we talked a little about this in our three-day uh, session and how it might be useful um, yeah so this was my insight like customer journey maps are, again are great great way if you need to go to your boss and argue for budget to really easily point out why this is an important initiative that you want to employ what is your feeling about this is this a taboo is it just me who recognizes this would love to know and are you using journey maps as a way to set priorities make the business case for some initiatives anyway long story um, but I think this taboo eh, around customer journey mapping isn't doing us a lot of good and I think we should break it so if you're a team if you want to get budget if you want to set the agenda rather than waiting for other departments who set the agenda use customer journey maps to your advantage what do you think about this leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video